Welcome to video number five. We're going to talk about how to create a funnel with smart one-time offers. So when it comes to creating a funnel with smart one-time offers, it's super easy to do as long as you've gone through videos one through four. If you've skipped around, it's not, not really going to make sense. So if you've done that, make sure that you go in order so that we can break things down. So in this video, we're going to be mapping out a generic funnel with smart one-time offers by using a flowchart visual map so that you can see how all the pieces of the puzzle fit together. So let's do that now. Okay, so now that you understand kind of a breakdown of the smart OTO and the smart funnel essentially, let's actually map it out. So as you can see here, if we start from the back and move back, so let's say for example, in that example we have OTO4. So OTO4 was one-on-one -on -one consulting. So one-on-one -on -one consulting. Now obviously if if you have a specific product then we'll actually give you an actual real-life example later down the road. But for now this is a very general kind of view. So one-on-one -on -one consultant and then what you do like I said earlier is you move back. So you copy that and essentially the OTO3 is going to be a portion of the one-on-one -on -one consulting. So like I said, group consulting. What is the next best thing, right? So if somebody can't afford one-on-one -on -one consulting, group consulting is the next best thing. So then we move back again. So OTO2. And if somebody cannot afford group consulting, perhaps something a portion of that so we take a piece we move back we take a piece we move back well in that case you can have this perhaps as the down sell so that could be OTO 4 D as in down sell and then this could actually be OTO 3 so as you can see here one thing is when I discussed the funnel earlier, as you begin to map things out, you realize that certain things should actually be a down sell or an upsell or in different places. And that's why mapping out is so crucial. So OTO3 could be something like audio recordings. And that could be that. You know, we could have something else. It doesn't have to be that. So it could be audio recordings. So that way, if somebody buys the audio recordings, they're thinking, okay, this is all I can afford. I'm going to stop here. But then you get your premium buyers that will be like, okay, you know what? I want to get one-on-one -on -one consulting, right? And then you might have people who say, oh, I can't afford that. And then they're offer this and they're thinking, well, you know, I can't afford one-on-one -on -one consulting, but I can't afford group consulting, right? So we got audio recordings and then maybe over here we have an ebook based on that audio recordings, but not as much. So they're getting double over here, obviously, right? So the next thing we have is OTO2. So we're moving backwards here. So I like to use arrows for progression, but obviously later on we're going to have to switch the arrows because we're going to move the other direction, right? So this is just to help me build it out initially. So OTO1, this could be a piece of that, so maybe this could be... secret articles or something like that. So it's a piece of that, a piece of that. And then of course we have the front end offer. So the front end offer could be, so we'll do FE for front end offer, and that could be a video course. So after you have finished this, you wanna switch the arrows back to the other way. So we would switch the arrows back this way. And that's it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.